going on everybody welcome back to the channel two days in a row we're doing videos um if you guys saw i tweeted out earlier um that i was thinking about doing a franchise with the dolphins as a rebuild but not really rebuild because once september rolls around we're going to be getting a patch for scouting and just going to be overhauling that so it's really not really a point to making a franchise right now um with that being said, we're going to just jump into it. There's a lot of cool stuff. I've obviously dabbled in this for a little while. Um, played like a couple seasons worth, just simming them. And it's, it's pretty solid. Um, if you go week to week to week to week, then you get a little bit more stuff to do. But if you just sim for like half a season at a time, it's not really the full experience of it. So, obviously we're going to be doing the Dolphins. We're going to be doing some controversial things. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of trades. So it should be interesting. First thing first, we gotta look at our settings. All pro simulation. I would do all Madden, but uh, I'm not here to sweat. We're just here to chill. Pre-owner bonuses, we're, we're gonna keep it on. I paid for it. <laughs> so league type, obviously, blah, 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 blah. Coach fine, blah, blah, blah. Superstar abilities, obviously. Blah, 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 blah. Injuries. Yeah, I'm okay with injuries. I normally turn it off. That's that's on you guys if you do that. Practice injuries, it happens. I'm cool with that. Uh, career clock off. It doesn't really matter anyways with us just doing this for a little while. Don't know how often I'm going to be doing this um, or how long we're going to be doing this. Uh, let's see. This is normally breakout scenarios. Yep, yep. I'm going to turn that off. Uh, there's whole reasons to turn that off. I normally do 16 seconds. Just quick enough to make the game go faster, but slow enough to where you can make adjustments. Uh, I'm gonna leave all those off. Practice reps, mine. I do that. Like scouting, we're not gonna even worry about that. Just get, just get it out of there. Uh, everything else we'll take care of. Tutorial pops up off. Throw roster that we're doing that. Um, everything seems fine. So yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna keep coach flow. Um, even though he's defensive minded and we want to be offense, but we're just going to keep him just because um, we're not going to use custom or change roles or anything like that. So we're going to jump right into it. Uh, we're going to make trades. We're going to buff up this team just a little bit more than what it is. So come over here to NFL roster. Uh, one of the first controversial things I'm going to do, the wide receiver, Devontae Parker. We are going to trade him. I can already see the comment section blowing up, but we're not. We're going to trade him for some some people, some good, someone good. Uh, so we're going to go to the Colts, and we're going to get some help at a position that needs help. You see, there's three running backs. They don't need all these running backs, so I'm going to go for somebody that the Dolphins should have drafted last year. Let's see how far we're off. Not that far off. So. They're, the only reason why the CPU is going to allow this to happen is because they have three 80 overall running backs. And Parker is still young enough. He's, he's got three stars, and it's like, eh. So what we're going to do, we are going to give draft picks. We don't have too many draft picks, um, so we're going to try a fifth and see see if that moves it. It does, but they're probably going to want the fourth. Um, so we'll go ahead and just drop that real quick. Trade declined. Okay. We'll give him a six. Why not? See if we can do the seventh. Usually I can find gems in the late rounds. There we go. So we have our running back of the future. Um, that means we can go ahead and let's see. We have plenty of running backs. We're not going to get rid of Brown. We're not going to get rid of Gaskin. Everybody else can go. They're gone. Um, yeah, they're gone. We have a good, good running back system right here. Jonathan Taylor is great. Uh, leaves us for wide receivers Fuller, Waddle, and, and Grant. We'll keep Wilson and Preston, and everybody else is gone. Um, this is Madden. Normally, I would keep Perry as like number uh, wide receiver six, only for Wildcat, because you know, he can throw out of it. Um, so there's something there, but this is Madden. Um, real life, you're able to do a lot more. Foster, we might keep because he's got 94 speed. That's something to look at. Um, so yeah, this is going to be our main wide receiver core. Um, I'm cool with cutting Wilson, but then we're not really gaining a lot of money from cutting him anyways. 
Uh, so running back, we're good. Quarterback, obviously we got Tua and Jacoby. Let's see, tight ends, we're good. Um, I kind of would like uh, we gotta move Jesse Davis. He's supposed to be the right tackle, not left tackle. Uh, offensive line, I move around all of the time. It's crazy how much I, I'm not even gonna start Jesse Davis. Honestly, I'm gonna start our rookie. Um, so there's that. They got him playing left guard in real life for some reason. Uh, Fluker, I could do the cheesy thing and trade him for like a third or something like that. But we're just gonna release him. Somebody will pick him up in free agency. Yeah. So we're gonna go with Etchenberg as our starter. Uh, I think we need another right guard. But Hunt, um, I think I traded these two guys one time for a center f or no left guard from the Cowboys. What's his face? Yeah, Connor Williams. I went ahead and traded both those guys for Connor. Uh, he goes up to like a 73 at center, and as you see, they need a center. So tempted just to do it, just just because. Um, we could need, we're going to need that help. He's 28. And then Michael Dieter is, where is he? 24, but he's a 63 overall. He's not, he's going to take a long time to develop. And at least at center, we, um, this guy is going to be a little bit more established. So we'll come over here, left guard, go to Cowboys. And we'll go ahead and scoop him up. It should go through, no problem. Yeah. We probably could have got a pick for it, but it, that's okay. So center, we're good. So we're going to move him over. I'm pretty sure he either stays at 72 or he goes to a 73 overall. Like I said, this is controversial. It won't happen in real life, but this is my, this is my franchise. This is what I want to do. Um, we're here to build. He goes to a 70. Okay. I don't know why one time he went up, but I guess when you go from tackle, you go down and down and down. Uh, you lose overall, but if I put him out right tackle, he'll probably go up overall. So uh, we're good here. O line is solid. They just need playing time, especially Austin Jackson. Um, yeah, O line is straight. Uh, left end, we got Ogba. Another semi controversial. Wilkins, we're putting him at D tackle. He goes up to an 80 overall. He's. I don't see him as the D end. I see Phillips as the D end. So moving to D tackle, he should go up to an 80 overall. I want to say, yeah, 80 overall. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab Jalen here. We're gonna put him down on the end, where I see him playing. If EA had an edge position, I don't think this would, that would have been a problem. Uh, but they don't have edge position, so right end. He goes. I think he stays the same overall. I want to say yeah, 73, but that's a whole lot better. Um, and then we're going to move Baker back to his left outside linebacker like he was uh, before last year when they moved to the middle linebacker because uh, he he was my edge rusher and he would get sacks. He's super fast. It's amazing off the edge. So, yep, 78 overall, 89 speed. Awesome. Love it. Right outside linebacker, Van Ginkle. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. Corner, Howard, Jones, Coleman, McCourtney. Uh, I can actually trade these two and get a first rounder from somebody. I can't remember which team. Um, but we're probably going to cut Justin at the end of the year anyways to save us three and a half million dollars. Um, we're going to be having Noah as our slot guy anyways. So it's like, why not go ahead and get that draft pick while we can? So we're going to go ahead and trade these two guys away. I know McCourtney or McCourty. He's not even a corner. He's actually like a safety. He doesn't like playing corner. Um, so you see the bear, Bears, they want corners. But I don't think they, they have the number one pick. So that's, this is probably not going to go through. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Who else wants a corner? Go until we find a green. Cowboys. What picks you got? You got the 22nd? I think this should go through. Uh, we're, we're close. The Eagles... We're gonna find. We're gonna find a first round pick. We're gonna get our pick back. I think it's 14 or 23. I can't remember which one's ours. Go for the 23rd. We're close, so we're gonna go ahead and trade. Uh, let's try the fifth and. S oh, we can't do six. Can't do more than three still. All right, so we're gonna have to go for the second. We'll do first and second. Mm, we'll see if we can't get a third from them. Yep. 
We should. We should, we should, we should. No. Nope. So we're going to have to go with the fourth. See, we can't get fourth and fifth from them. And. Okay, so we'll drop the fifth. See if that goes through. And it does. Okay. So we got the, we, we got their first round. That's okay. They have plenty. They can cheer. So it leaves us with Need Him. We got Noah. Uh, I'll probably just end up cutting these guys. Maybe not Davis because he's got 93 speed speed kills in this game. So Perry and Bonds, they're probably on the outside looking in. Obviously Holland starting. And then we're going to be building up Brandon Jones to take over for Rowe. If not, I don't think we're going to start him right away though. We'll set him for the year or so. Kicker, Jason, Michael. And that's pretty much the team. That's, that's pretty much all the only controversial thing that we'll do. <laughs> Trade wise, uh, we got a new starting center, new left guard, or new running back. Everything else seems fine. I'm cool with that. Um, we have our staff points upgrade. We got weekly stuff. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. We go here, manage staff. Uh, show Coach Flo real quick. He, um, talent tree. So, yeah, he's uh, defensive minded. First thing right off the rip, final piece. Everyone's a scheme fit. That's That's just beautiful. Um, so yeah, from bottom, safety's getting more XP, DN's getting XP, the linebackers, I'd rather go offensive line, the offensive line gets more XP, um, personnel, ten, oh God. we're gonna just max that out real quick, the only one from player personnel I get is the hometown discount, I don't really, mm, I don't really see these, but hometown discount, uh, I think the max tier is 5% for 90 overall and below, I want to say. Um, trades. Could have cheesed and just knock, just max this all out. Um, let's see. D offensive coordinator. Obviously, X Factor. Do that real quick. And then we're going to go blocking tight ends and then run block power. Um, I go for power linemen. Because once they hit the second level, linebackers and safety, or yeah, linebackers and safeties, they just won't bounce off of them. Now, I've learned that the hard way multiple times throughout the years. Um, pass blocking by tight ends. I think we have enough to go ahead and pump this out. Go ahead and buff up their awareness. Awareness will help them pick up uh, blitzes and stuff like that. So go ahead and max that out as well. That should leave us, yeah, that's cool. Um, you have enough for injury. Nope, that's 10 points. So yeah, that that's going to be that. Um, game day goals. I have figured that turnover battle, you get four points. Uh, that one I almost always get. Defense, um, uh, either sack the quarterback, because if you sack him once or twice, you get that one point either way, or you just pick him off. You get one pick, you get one point. Two picks, you get, um, three. It's cool. Offensive coordinator, uh, let's see, lead by nine at halftime. If you, you can lead by a touchdown, you'll get a point. So these three, I feel like you're always going to get something from them. And that's just with playing it. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Now, see, you can fire your coordinators and pick up the, the – there's an offensive coordinator that has, like, 33 staff points. Uh, same thing for defense. Uh, we're not going to do that, obviously. These guys aren't on the Dolphins. They're not real. Uh, they're working on that for September, I want to say. Um, but, yeah, so that's going to be that. So staff is good. Yes, you don't have to tell me every time. Uh, weekly strategy. We do have practice injuries on now. Um, so sorry about that. A little blink of a snap for you guys, but little man decided to wake up. Um, so I had to put him back to sleep. So, forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> uh, so here, we're doing objectives. Um, let's get top threat. That top threat is Justin Fields. Um, I don't think they're going to pass the ball deep. But we're going to go with it anyways. And then inside run is normally what I go with, no matter what. Um, so there's that. We're going to leave the injuries. That sort of thing I was talking about. Injuries. Uh, we're going to do full pads anyways. Uh, Jalen Waddle, he... We're not going to work on him. We're going to work on Tua. Um, I think Holland. Holland's good on his own. So he doesn't need any buffs. But we are going to work on Austin Jackson. Uh, and obviously, weekly goal, get an interception. 
that's another one you could easily get uh, interception or go for something crazy no go, go for the interception so if we get the one interception that's three points if we get another interception that's two we get another three points so there you can always get try to get something so we'll start our training I'm sure somebody's gonna get injured because um, we're doing full pads and so there we go Jones back strain looks like our only injury um, yep only injury now let's check offense everybody looks good uh -huh. uh -huh. ah dislocated wrist for what that's why I hate injuries just um, yeah just gonna throw that out there how long is Waddle injured for? Go away, staff points. That's that's uh that's annoying. Uh yeah. Dislocated wrist. Uh we're not gonna mess with the scheme fits and whatnot. We're just gonna keep it everything as the same as Coach Flo would do it. Um just gonna quickly do all these physical wide receivers. I wish I would tweak this up a little bit. Like it's just a little too easy just to get XP and then just upgrade a single thing. Like every now and then, like I posted a picture a while back um, with Kicker. I upgraded a point into Jason Sanders' power and all I got was awareness. It's like I upgraded power. Don't over inflate his overall with awareness. Awareness doesn't mean jack for a kicker. It doesn't make the bar go faster or slower. It doesn't make his accuracy at the bottom any bigger, any smaller. Uh, strain, back strain is out for one week. That's not bad. I want to say Waddle's going to be out for a little bit, though. But yeah. Uh, if I upgrade power on a kicker or a punter, give me the power that I that I put. So, it is what it is. Ooh, Brandon Jones with an extra speed. That brings him up to 90, if not mistaken. I have noticed they've been generous with the speed. So, every now and then they'll get a speed point. Oh, stop telling me about that. So, let's go to injury report. Don't be out too long. Wow, this will get a risk one week. Okay, I can live with that. Yeah, I can live with that. That's fine. That, so that sounds like an injury that's like a couple weeks, but hey, stop telling me. Okay, so preseason game. Normally, I do play the moment. Um, but this video is already at 20 minutes, so I'm not going to do that to you guys, but that's going to be this video. Um, sorry about that little hiccup in the middle with uh, Noah waking up, but, uh, like I said, I'm just going to snip it out for you guys. So you won't even see it, but, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if this is something you want to see, go ahead and leave a like and let me know. I'll catch you all next time.